Hey my loves! Um, as you've probably gathered from the title of this video, Project Tenpan is over. I have completed Project Tenpan this week. Um, I've finished 10 makeup items, um, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> um, I've bought no makeup myself until uh, since I actually started, the pro started doing it. Um, so what this video is, is basically just a little ramble telling you some of the lessons that I've learned through Project Tempan. And at the end I'm going to put in pictures of all 10 items that I've used. So you can actually see what I've finished and let me prove that I've finished them. Um, yeah, so we'll get started. Uh, as I say, this is going to be a bit rambly so I apologise in advance for that. Um, basically, Project Tempan for me has been a lot easier than I thought. Now this is a, is a person who pretty much bought a makeup item, at least one makeup item every single week. I never thought that would be the case. Um, but strangely enough it has. Um, first thing that was obviously good and helped me is Christmas. Um, Christmas fell in the middle of Project Tempan so I got quite a few makeup bits which meant that I got some things that I wanted. That's fair enough, that's fine. Um, yeah. Um, I must admit I was tempted at times, um, the lure of MAC collections actually tempted me an awful lot, um, especially Champagne, which I'm quite disappointed to have missed out on Champagne. but um, I came to the conclusion that MAC releases a lot of similar things, and they do, um, there's a lot of, um, I believe Temptalia has something called the Dupe List, so you can actually look at things and see how similar things are. And I've looked at some of the things out on some of the nude lipsticks, etc. And there's not a lot of difference between them. Um, so basically, what you've got to look at with MAC, they do re-promote. If something's popular, they'll re-promote it, hopefully. Light Skipade, unfortunately, hasn't been re-promoted yet. So, yeah, I really want another Light Skipade MSF. <laughs> but um, they re-promote things. They pr produce things that are similar to other things. Um, and sometimes you can actually pick stuff up, up afterwards in CCOs and what have you if it wasn't as popular. Um, so basically, yeah, first lesson, don't assume that everything releases is brand new. You might have something similar or it might be a re-promote or what have you. So yeah, don't stress yourself about if something's a limited edition. There you go. My second point, as you've gathered from my last two videos, has basically been the rediscovered, re rediscovering an old product, shopping your stash. Now basically that's something I would advise everybody does. It, we're all makeup junkies, we all love makeup, but at the end of the day, how much do we have that we're not actually using? Now what Project Ten Pan made me do is basically look at what I actually owned, um, go through what I owned, pull different things out, use different things, find different things, and often in some cases find, trying to find dupes to new, pro new products that were out there and I have to say this was completely successful um, shopping with my stash has been a really good experience for me it's basically made me use a lot of more of my makeup and it's also made me realise that there's some things that I'm just not going to use um, for whatever reason either I've bought something on the whim and it doesn't suit me or I've got too many things that are similar so that's why I've been doing a lot of blog sales, um, friends and relatives have got things as well and so has, uh, and I'm pa currently packing up a box for Given Makeup, I've put the details down below to Given Makeup, definitely check that out, that's well worth it if you're in the UK. Um, so yeah, shop, uh, shop your stash, I would advise everybody does that, S see what you've got and see what you can do with them. Um, yeah, um, second, well, I think what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, I'm becoming a more savvy shopper. Um, Project Ten Pants basically taught me to look at things and think, do I really need this? And I know this is like, there's bad Louise in one ear and good Louise in the other time. Yes, you do need this. But nine times out of ten, I'm not, the, the answer is no, I don't need this. So basically, what I think it's taught me is to be a more savvy shopper when I do come to buy makeup again. To actually look and see, is that different? Is that something new? Is that something original? And above all, am I going to use it? Um, I mean, there's no point in buying something that looks lovely but you're not going to use it. Because um, it'll just sit there. <laughs> and that's, a, that's such a waste. Um, so yeah, I definitely think Project Tempan has been a totally valuable experience for me and it's something that I will definitely repeat and I'll definitely do it again. I think it has been really valuable um, and it's been really helpful for me. Um, 
as to the products that I've finished, um, you can see there's a few bases and foundations in there which I'm quite pleased with. A couple of lip products, a, few, a couple of mascaras. Um, unfortunately, there's no eyeshadows, which I was a bit disappointed in, but eyeshadows are my thing. I've got lots and lots of eyeshadows. So, um, yeah, so I was a bit disappointed I didn't manage to finish an eyeshadow in that time. But I've got two there or thereabouts from MAC, two MAC shadows, some Shua Sullivan Idol Eyes that are new in their ends. But, you know, it's. I've managed 10 products um, it makes me re it made me realize how many things I had opened that were similar and like having like five foundations on a row at once is probably not a good idea um, at the most you should probably have one or two maybe a winter and a summer or something like that so yeah that that's kind of yeah it's made me sort of more savvy, more way of what I do and what have you. But yeah, it was a nice, I finished a nice sort of rounded amount of uh, type of things and what have you. I'm quite pleased. There's some things that were there or thereabouts and are still going on. I've got a Lancome Juicy Tube that I honestly thought I would have finished. But it's one of those things, it just keeps going on and on and on and on. <laughs> and I can probably, I'll probably get another two months out of it now. When I'm re it doesn't look as though there's anything in it. But every time you squeeze it, there's a bit more. And then when you put the tube in boiling water, it so all the product sinks to the bottom, there ends up being a whole load more. So this juicy tube is never ending. It deserves a, po a video or a post of its own where I eventually finish it. But yeah, so that was my Project Hemban experience really worthwhile definitely something i'll do again um i'm sorry this has been a bit of a ramble and a bit pointless i've actually done a company and blog post with this so which probably explains it in more detail so you can give that a read i'll put the link down below um and I, yeah i'll just leave you with that here are the 10 items that i've finished um so enjoy that and hopefully i'll see you soon uh with my next video which is probably going to be an overrated products video thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye